Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate Bootstrap into your Ruby on Rails 4 application. Uh, basically we're going to use the Bootstrap SAS gem to recreate this template uh, in Ruby on Rails. And if you don't have Rails and Ruby installed, then you can view my uh, RVM installation video, which will take you through it on installing Rails onto an Ubuntu uh, machine. All right, so first thing we need to do is generate a new app. So we're going to say Rails new my bootstrap. All right, so we need to add a few gems to the gem file. Okay, I'm going to use Sublime Text for my editor, and I just want to add the app folder to my project. All right, so we need to open gem file, and down here we want gem bootstrap sass. Okay, and we need to specify the version, which is 3.2.0. Now we'll also use sass, which allows us to use uh, a CSS precompiler and it's really handy if you want to use variables and, and mix-ins and things like that in your style sheets. Now I'm also going to include the auto prefixer gem so that we can use uh, SCSS fi files on the fly. Whoops. No, what is it? Auto prefixer. All right, uh, auto prefixer rails. All right, so save that, and then we will just want to run bundle install. Could not locate gem file because we're not in the directory. All right. And before we do anything else, I'm just going to generate a couple controllers here. So we'll say Rails, uh, Rails generate controller home, and we'll include an index method. All right, and we'll also generate a controller called about. Okay, so now we should be able to uh, let's run our server. Okay, so let's specify uh, our home page. So we want to go to config routes. And down here, we'll uncomment this and just change this welcome to home. And then we'll save that. Okay, now we have our home page. We should also be able to go to uh, about slash index which brings us to the about page. Now let's just add a button to our home page so that we can tell if if bootstrap is being read or not. All right, so I'm going to go to my views, our app views, home index and just going to create a, a button here. So I want to do a class btn and then btn primary okay so we'll save that reload so we have the link now we want to import the bootstrap files okay and we can do that because we installed the gem so to do that we want to go to our uh, assets style sheets and then application.css, but we want to rename this to application.css.scss, and we can get rid of this about and home CSS file. All right, and then in here, we need to import. Okay, so we want to say import 
bootstrap sprockets. Okay, and also import just bootstrap. All right, and we're gonna make another CSS or SCSS file because I don't want to have to put I don't want to put CSS in this core file. All right. Uh, whoa, why am I in home? We're in the wrong file here. Let's just uh, copy that and close this. All right, this is this is the file we should be in. Okay, so I'm just gonna say import. All right. And also, we're going to create one called main. And then let's create that new file. Save as main.css.scss. All right. And we want to get rid of this require tree. Okay, and then we can save that. And that should be it for that file. Uh, so let's go back to the front end and reload. Now you can see that bootstrap is being included because our our link, our button. All right. And just to make sure that this uh, main file is being read, let's just say body background black. All right, so that's working. And we can now use variables, all right? So we can say color black, actually we'll say color red. And then we can just say color. All right. So let's go a little further and I'm going to grab the content from this page here. So let's view source and I'm going to copy everything that's in the body. But not this uh, JavaScript. Okay, we'll copy that and I'm going to go to our main layout file which is in app views layouts and then this application file here and I'm going to paste this in the body all right and then we want to cut out the jumbotron and let's see pretty much everything else I think where's this container start yeah so I'm gonna grab I'm going to leave the container and grab everything within it. What the hell? Okay, so I want. Actually, no, that's not right. Yeah, all of this. Okay, so from this container which ends right here. No. Where's that one end? Right there. Okay. So I'm going to grab this. Okay, this row. Okay, and I'm going to put that into my views, my home index view. Save that and then back in the application. going to grab this yield variable. Okay, this this will output our main content. So I'm going to put that right here. All right. So let's see what that looks like. All right. Let's get rid of that red. All right, so basically this here, these three blocks are coming from the home view. All right, everything else is in the layout. Now for the Jumbotron thing here, I wanna give that its own file. So I'm gonna take all this and cut that out and I'm gonna create a new folder in views and call it 
partials and then in there I'll create a new file and save it as underscore jumbotron dot html dot erb okay and then we'll paste that and then back in here we want our ruby tags and we're just going to render we're going to render partials slash jumbotron okay so reload okay good uh, I'm gonna get rid of the login form that's in the the nav bar all right and we should probably put footer inside of a partial as well Okay, so we'll grab this and inside partials, create a new file, save it as underscore footer dot html dot erb. Okay, paste that in and close that in the jumbotron. Okay, now let's do the navigation. Okay, so we have Let's change the product name to, I don't know, Bootstrap Rails. And then for the navigation, oh, I got rid of the, actually it didn't have a, a nav bar, I mean a list. So right here, we're going to create a, an unordered list and give it a class of nav. Ah, uh, shoot, was it navbar? Actually, let me look on the bootstrap site. Okay, so let's see, we want... this. All right, so we'll have list item. And this will be home. I just want to see if this is going to format right. I'm not even going to put the links in. We're going to use the uh, Rails link helper anyway, but just want to make sure that this is the right formatting. All right, good. So we have these two links now. Uh, like I said, I want to use the the Ra Rails link helper, so we're going to say link to and the text. Let's say home. And that's going to link to the root path. Okay, so that should give us our home. Let's just make sure. Okay, we got home. Why is it like that? Oh, we need to put it inside of a list item. There we go. Okay, so that's going to the home page. Next, uh, let's do the about. I'm going to copy this. Okay, this will go to about path. Uh, undefined local variable about path all right so that's not working we need to go in the routes file real quick 
and I'm just going to change this a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to say get about, and that's going to go to about index. Okay, so save that, reload. All right, so now that works. And if we click about, it takes us to about. Now we don't want this Jumbotron to show in about. So we need to make a conditional. Let's go back to that partial Jumbotron. And to do this, okay, we're gonna say if, what is it, params, controller is not equal to home actually we want to say if it is equal to home Now it, it went behind the bar up here because we have it as fixed. We have the nav bar as fixed. So let's change that. Get rid of this nav bar fixed top. But now it has a margin. Okay, let's see. Okay, nav bar. We have margin bottom 20 pixels to change that. So we want to go to our main CSS file. Margin bottom zero. All right. So that's how you can integrate Rails and Bootstrap 3 using the Bootstrap SAS gem.